Nope. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and record then. All right, so uh, this is your very first drawing that you guys are doing, and it's a single view drawing on page 76, figure 4 4 4, inlaid in aluminum design. This is the drawing that we are doing. All right, we're doing this drawing. If you read the book, if you go back a few pages, it talks about instruments that you guys are using. All right, how many people in here, by a show of hands, have drawn technical drawings before? Maybe down in the middle school, maybe up Damascus or Preston or someplace else, okay? Most of you, but not all of you, right? Well, we're going to go ahead and try this. Over here, it gives you a layout of how to go ahead and do that drawing, step-by-step -step fashion, if you read it, okay? Here's a drawing that I did last period. All right, it says Tyler Grees on it. Don't believe it, I did this, okay? Um, but that's what I want, this is the end result, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this drawing, and uh, that's this drawing, I'm gonna use these measurements right here. I told you you're using your H and 4H pencil. I'm gonna go with my, yep, you go ahead and start it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and use my 4H pencil, and then I'm gonna do this. What am I doing, anybody know? I'm finding the center. Okay, that's easy enough. Now, I'm, when I do this, because this is a 4-H pencil, I'm dragging this across my paper. I don't, want, I don't want to have to do it real dark because what happens if I go ahead and, and erase? I'm going to need an eraser, and I, don't, I didn't put out an eraser. All right, I'm taping this down. I'm going to roll up these edges just like this, nice and easy. Why do I do that? So I can put this on top of my T-square. I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. All right. Go ahead and tape the bottom. Simple enough. All right. I'm still using my 4-H pencil. Mayor, attention, please. Please excuse this interruption. Junior, with his last name, H through O, please repeat the auto for you. For your hearing screening at this time, Junior's H through O to the auditorium at this time. Thank you. Eight inches across, five and a half inches vertically, so five and a half inches. Half of five and a half, half of five is what? Two and a half plus another quarter. Would that be five and a half inches? Okay. All right. Now, because of, the, because of this camera, I'm going to hope that I get these. Usually, what I do is I'll go right on top of that, that line. You know what I mean? Go right on top of that line so I have that. And then I'm dragging. I'm dragging my pencil. Those lines, you can see them, but I want to draw them, I want to draw them as light as possible. See how I'm dragging that? Look at that line. There's a line there. Believe me. Maybe it's not. Oh, no. okay. All right, so I want to make sure, but I, I see you guys when you're doing this, you're dragging them and you're making them too dark, okay? What happens if you make them too dark and all of a sudden you make a mistake, you go ahead and erase, all right? It's a problem, all right? Because then I'm going to mark it that, you know, it's too dark of a line. So here it is across the bottom I'm going to go. Two and five-eighths, three-eighths, two inches, three-eighths, and two and five-eighths. That's the total of eight inches. So... I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. The first one is two and five eighths, right? We go three eighths. We go two inches. We go three eighths. What's the left over? Two and five eighths. Okay. Did I move my teach my uh, ruler? No. no zeros here. Well, that makes it easy, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead. Draw this line in here. Go ahead. Draw this line in here. Boom. Go ahead. Draw this line in here, and then go ahead and draw this line in here, all right? There are my horizontal measurements. I'm going to do my vertical measurements, all right? And the vertical measurements are 1 and 3 eighths, 3 eighths. Let's go. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see. I'm getting older. Okay, so 1 and 3 eighths. Okay, checking. 3 eighths, 1, 2, 3 eighths. Okay, and what is it? 2 inches. Okay, so that's a quarter, and then back here to a quarter. And then three eighths, right there. And then I have my measurements. What am I going to do? Go ahead and put these in. All right. I'm going to go here because I don't have a line there. And I'm going to go here. It's going to save me from erasing that. Okay. See what I got? This one is going 
If I look in the book, I see where it goes to. Then I go to there. I go to there. All right. This one as well. Goes to there. That goes to there. And then this is the little block. Okay. Does that look like a drawing? Thank you, Joe, for getting me that eraser. Now this line over here, I still can't really see it, but I see the object. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to erase all the lines that aren't part of the object. All right. Now this is why I draw them real light. Okay. I don't want to see those lines. I don't want to see the lines that run on. See these little marks right here that I put for the, for, you know, we want to erase those too. And I'm erasing some, I'm erasing some of the lines that I, I put there, like the corner. Doesn't matter that I erase that. Why? What am I going to do? I'm going to go back over it, right, and darken it in. But, so I want this to be a nice, clean, uh, precise drawing. That's what I want. Neatness and accuracy counts. All right? Now, do we do a lot of these drawings like this anymore? With the advent of the computer? Probably not, but I'm going to tell you. You go to college, guess what they do? They'll put you on the board, you know? They'll put you on the board. It's important to know how to use the instruments as well, okay? And there's m many kids that come back all the time. I need a uh, little brush, and I think do I have one. Perfect. You guys, it's nice to have assistance like that as well. Good job, Joe. All right. Now, what do I need? Listen, John. This is what I need, an H pencil. So what I want to do now is I want to darken this thing in. I want to make sure that these lines aren't there. Because what happens if I darken it in and I go back and I try to erase some of these things? It's not going to be as clean and neat. All right? So that's what I do. All right? I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take these glasses off. What do I want to do? Now I want to follow. All right. So this line right here is not here. I can't see it because my eyes are bad. Let's go back up here and do this. Put this line back in there. Where is it? Right there. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I just want to trace over these lines, okay? So, and I'm going to go from here to here, from here to here, okay? Right? Now, do you notice anything I'm doing with my pencil as I do this? Anybody? Why do you suppose I'm doing that? So I keep a pointy edge. As I go ahead and do this, what happens is the flat spot's created on my, on my pencil, and I want to try to eliminate that through the whole drawing. I want it to be uniform, or as uniform as I can make it. Now, I'm following the line. I'm using the T-square as a guide, but what am I doing? I'm following the line, okay? If you fail to follow the line, and you think that the T-square is on the line, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get double lines, and that's not what we want, all right? How much time do we got, Scott? Uh, like, well, 20 minutes. Seven minutes and 20 seconds? 20 minutes? Who said 20 minutes? <laughs> okay, well, that's all right. All right, so from the top down, why did I go from the top down? So I'm not dragging my equipment over. Now here's a run-on right here. I don't want to drag my equipment over my, uh, the lines that I just drew. Okay. Pick up that edge. Okay. Again, what am I doing? I'm tracing. I'm following the line. If I fail to follow that line, I end up getting double lines. All right. Now some of these, I'm going to tell you, I have a problem with those two, that one and that one, right? Somebody have an eraser shield? No, 
So what am I going to use that eraser shield for? I'm going to erase those. Okay. That one I'm going to go back over. I'm hoping we can see this. And my head's not in the way of my camera. Could be, but that's all right. All right. And what I'll do is I'll put this, I'll put this on YouTube. See how I'm moving my square? Because I want to follow that line. I already put that line down. If it's off a sixty-fourth of an inch or something here or there, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay. All right. How's that look? All right. Got to put my glasses on. I have an eraser, an erasing shield. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Okay? Try to make that as clean as I can. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Okay? Go ahead and erase this one too. Okay? Good. Okay? This one right here. I just want to make sure I finish that. Okay? All right? Stop the clock. All right. Good. About 10 minutes. I, a little bit longer than expected. Okay. But about 10 minutes to do that drawing. You're going to fill this in, all capitals, the whole title block. This is the first drawing. How I did it, I expect you to do all the drawings. What do you want to do? What does everybody typically want to do? They want to use their age pencil and just draw it, right? Well, unfortunately, it takes time to be neat and accurate like that. And if you do this with your 4-H pencil, all right, you have a mistake, you can erase half of it and then fill it back in. It's not a big deal. Or, you know what you do too? I, I recommend it if you screw it up that bad, you start over because we want something nice and neat. All right? As you get going and you do it more and more, you can probably take your H pencil and draw a drawing without having to use your H pencil. Okay? That's just part of the practice. All right? Any problems or questions? This drawing is a drawing that you do today. All right? Um, you may end up doing it, doing it a little bit today and then sometime tomorrow. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but if I'm not here any day that I'm not here, you do the next consecutive drawing. Okay, so this is figure 4-44. All right, I'm going to turn over and I'm going to say right here is figure 4-46. So if you get done with this drawing, there's a substitute here. You're not sitting there like a bump on a log when we don't have anything to do. You never, ever come in here with nothing to do, right? There's always an extra drawing, it's just like math class, right? You always got stuff to do. Any problems or questions? You think you guys can handle that? Get her done. Have some fun. I'll put this on YouTube for you, and you guys can watch it if you want. Or you don't have to.